Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, again in the beautiful German forest here. Absolutely amazing place. Amazing place to let the creativity flow. Guys, today slightly different topic. If you are recently new to this channel, you might think of Bobby's perspective as some anti-vegan hate-mongering channel. Bobby hates vegans. But guys, that couldn't be further from the truth. Just two days ago, I went to a very, very good friend of mine. And he is still vegan. On top of it, I actually made him vegan. I showed him Earthlings around about four years ago. We watched Earthlings and he became vegan overnight. If you're watching right now, you know that I'm talking about you, brother. Anyways, he is still vegan, he is still in it for the ethical reasons, and so was I. If you're new to this channel, you might think of me as an anti-vegan, ex-vegan, ex-plant-based eater. Often I hear that, you've been only plant-based. We all know those slogans. Truth is, I was an ethical vegan. I was in it for the ethics predominantly. Health came second. That is just the case. I know you can't believe it, because people say, if you made the connection once, you cannot quit. You will always stay vegan. But guys, those are slurs coming from people that never faced those health issues. If you never faced health issues, you cannot truly understand what is going on there. Anyways, I was on that birthday of my good friend, and he was serving us vegan pizza, he was serving us vegan brownies, and cold cabbage soup. Yes. Uh, sounds like a great time, huh? Thank God I ate some raw tartar before going down there. I was satisfied. I didn't need any food. I was just relaxing and having a good chat. The people, on the other hand, that indulged in that plant-based finesse encountered digestive issues. Of course. What else do you expect? My friend was suffering digestive issues. He was the birthday boy, and he was farting his guts out. We had a talk about veganism, about the ethics of it, about health overall. And his girlfriend told me that it might all be just psychosomatic. It might be all just in my head. That the vegan diet works for everybody. And it's probably me thinking bad of those foods just blaming those foods for an issue which is psychological. Yep, that was our talk. Amazing. Meanwhile, the reality of things is that they're sitting there, farting their guts out and laughing about it. They were giggling. They were smiling. They had fun farting. They thought that this is normal. They thought that this is how it's supposed to be. Totally normal human's fault. When I told them that when I eat predominantly meat, or meat exclusively, I do not fart at all, they didn't believe me. <sighs> that is the vegan logic. But anyways, as I said in the beginning of this video, it's not going to be a hate video, it's going to be a positive video. Today I want to congratulate the vegans. Today I want to congratulate you for daring to change your diet, to actually dare to make the first step. Because that's what veganism truly is. Veganism is a first step into the right direction. If you become vegan, it takes guts, honestly, it takes guts. Maybe not so much in this day and age, because this world is really catering to vegans. But initially, it takes courage to eat totally different. There was a chicken in the background. To be totally different than your family members and friends. To be totally different than the society. You are a minority. And I salute you to that. It takes courage. But, again, I will have to quote my dear friend Drew Morgan. The open mind that led you to veganism is the open mind that you should keep later on. Because, guys, you start closing yourself up straight after finding out of veganism. And that is a normal human response. People are looking for truth. Through religion, through diet, through cults even, through 
sports, to all kinds of practices. And once they find it, they experience so much comfort in that new found box that they can't step out of it anymore, no matter how bad they feel later on. They always remind themselves of that initial honeymoon period. They always remind themselves of the good times in the beginning. And I was there myself. I had the first issues, now really thinking back and reflecting, half year into veganism. It became worse and worse and worse, but I was clinging on to it. Because I truly loved it. I truly loved veganism with everything. I actually really enjoyed the food. Even nowadays, I really enjoy vegan food. But my body doesn't. If I look into veganism, it is a concept of the mind. It is a concept based upon emotions, upon empathy, which is beautiful. It is one trait of us humans. And if we could always live out our empathetical side, yes, this truly would be paradise. This truly would be heaven. But fortunately or unfortunately, it isn't. This is not heaven. It's not hell either. It's somewhere in between. It's the realm of the duality. We have both here. We have love and we have pain. We have joy and we have suffering. That is truly what is going on here. Veganism is focusing only on one side of the coin. The joy, the happiness, the empathy and the compassion. I was there myself. I see where vegans are coming from. I truly understand. And as I said, I really congratulate you for that first step. But you have to listen to your body and not say that this is the end all be all. Once you understand that there are more ethical ways, you have to follow through. But without ranting on for too long, as I said, dear vegans, this video is for you. I truly congratulate you. I want you to understand that you are pioneers in that field. And I'm sure that you will achieve what you want to achieve in the future. For that it will take quite some change. I do not see this unnatural diet being applicable for the natural biological body. But this world is not natural anymore. We are changing everything. We are changing the environment, we are changing our interaction with the environment and ultimately we will be changing our DNA, our biology. We will transcend that. This is where this transhumanist movement comes into place. We are already transhumanist. I am holding an extension of myself here with this camera. This is truly what is going on here. I'm uploading my consciousness basically onto YouTube and you are listening to it. This is already transhuman. Hence the extension of that will be to alter our DNA. Right now you see that this unnatural diet is failing the natural monkey body, if you will. And I'm not saying that we are monkeys, quite the opposite. I always like to describe ourselves as God consciousness in a monkey flesh vessel. We have to understand that this biological machine has the biological urges of an animal. That's just what it is. Otherwise you wouldn't piss, shit and fuck. This is truly what is going on. You have to accept that, nourish it and cherish what you've been given in this realm. But again, I'm going on all kinds of rants here. The forest is really inspiring my creativity. What I'm saying here is, if you want to be vegan, right now you have to accept tremendous downsides. You have to supplement B12, DHA, EPA, vitamin D3, iodine, zinc and whatnot. And you can be fairly healthy, maybe, if your genetics allow it. You could be an outlier. Most people cannot cope with the vegan diet. That is just the truth. This is why we have so many ex-vegans. It is just what is going on. I know people want to discard it as anecdotal evidence, but let's be honest, we do not have a population scale study on everybody in the Western society. No, the Adventists do not count. They're not all vegans. No, the Mediterranean studies do not count. They're not all vegans. If we talk about our society, we have to talk about anecdotes because those people that failed are the field study. Those people are the experiment that is truly going on right now. We are the study. We do not have long-term studies on people that have been supplementing with B12. That is just what is going on. So if you say we already did the vegan experiment, no we didn't. We are in it right now and it is failing the biological body. 
So, vegans, again to bring it back to a more positive note here, I congratulate you for being pioneers. I congratulate you for your open mind. You are doing the right thing from an empathetic standpoint. Ultimately, you have a truth. You do not have the ultimate truth here. Of course not. And I'm not claiming to have it myself. Get that straight, guys. I always find it funny when people tell me, Bobby, you make ultimate claims. Guys, how can you blame a channel that is called Bobby's Perspective about anecdotes? That doesn't make any sense. Of course, I will talk about anecdotes if the channel's name is Bobby's Perspective. Hmm? Make sense? Yeah, well, anyways, guys, you have to take into account if you want to be 100% vegan, if you want to follow this unnatural diet, you will have to become an unnatural human in the near future. To sustain this unnatural diet, if you are not a total genetic freak, an outlier, then you will have to become a transhumanist. You will have to go through biological modifications in order to sustain this unnatural diet. All right, guys, this video is long enough. I'm going to cut it off here. It has been quite the rant. Initially, I just wanted to congratulate the vegans for their open mind. And this is really what I mean, truly, absolutely, respect for you guys. But then I went on to a rant and I basically banged in 20 different topics into one video. So guys, let me know if you enjoyed those talks as well, where I just talk random stuff, where I rant a bit about different topics. If so, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always, guys, much love and peace.